Now the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment that it, the incident occurred. Yes, yes, sir. Standing by. I am ready to report, sir. Hmm. Unsavory memories of the most... Acerbic afternoon? What the witnesses saw. I was investigating a regulation beefsteak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of this particularly fine golden cuter Rio to the military gentleman. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's action with my own eyes. The black uniformed varsity cadet had fired on the English civilian, and from the back, back the coward the little weasel. I was on my hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of my mysterious absconded and a precious girl. Well, so you started to know that actually witnessed the vital moment? You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon? Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. That wicked university cadet, sir. Or the cruel and unforgivable enemy. What times- You just pulled out a knife in court! Dude! What the fuck? <laughs> what times we live in when English gentlemen may be assailed in broad light of day? <laughs> but this is ridiculous! I didn't shoot anyone! Is that really true, Ryanosuke? <laughs> You already said you believe me. Yes, sir. All I did was pick up the gun I saw lying on the floor. After I said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Then when I finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English big gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it, so I bent down and just as I was picking it up, well if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. And somewhere in these two witnesses' testimony, there's a clue as to who that criminal was. There is? Rinosuke, you must exercise your right to cross-examine the witness cross-examine. Do it now. As you have heard, Your Excellency, there is no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. It is time to bring the despicable student to justice. Certainly, the testimony of the court or has just heard eliminates any vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to yes. declare the verdict raises his hand. What in the name of the imp or is the meaning of this outburst? I I am um, I mean the defense demands the right to cross it of examination. Dear me, dear me. Let me guess. The how'd you make her headband boy next to, or told me to do it. How pathetic. Huh how did he know? <laughs> the prosecution is this. This is a clear waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross-examination? The defense is, is asserting its right to a cross-examination. Whether or not you think he's capable of it is irrelevant. Custom is so commanding. Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witnesses. 
All right, this is where the battle really begins, Ryanosuke. But I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. It's obvious you have to expose the lies and the witnesses' statements. How? You didn't fire the gun, which means what that soldier said has to be the lie. Well, yes, but it's just a case of proving it. And the key to doing that is evidence, right? Evidence. All you need, need to do is present some decisive and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. Now let's go, Ryunosuke. Don't let them beat you. <sighs> How the fuck do I do this? It's all or nothing. What the witnesses saw. I was ingesting a regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of particularly fine golden Kiro to the military gentleman. At that precise moment a firearm was discharged, I observed the enemy's action with my own eyes. The black uniform armed varsity cadet fired the Englishman civilian and from the back the cowardly little weasel. I was on my hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious Kiro. Yes! I'm gonna press this one for sure. So, you're saying that you actually saw me at that time? Affirmative. I saw you. Laughing, cackling like a madman, you train in the barrel of your gun on the English civilian. But that's impossible! I. I only allow me to confirm just one point, please. What's that, Private? Thinking carefully about the statement you just made, it seems to me that it must have been just after you heard the gunshot that you looked over it to the victim's table. And so, what if it was? Well, if that's really the case, it would mean that you didn't, in fact, see the precise moment when the killer actually fired the gun. And double R. <laughs> My sixth sense. Sorry? My sixth sense of danger. I picked up the waves of murderous energy radiating from your foul mind. Which means... A split second before you pulled the trigger, I was looking right at you, cadet. Surely that's not really possible, is it? Do you think I've gotten to where I am today in the army if I couldn't sense danger in the air, son? Well... It would seem the soldier is absolutely convinced that he saw you do the deed. This is not good. Okay. Yeah, ingesting that. Some of the virtues. Eyes are the enemy's actions with my own eyes. Black and red fire and... From the back. Mm. He was shot from the chest. Back. Yes. Present. It's awkward. Just raising your hand to stupid. <laughs> What, what are you playing, at, cadet? What is the meaning of this subordination? Thrusting some photographic print in my mustache. Inconsistency, sir. I mean, yes. There's a clear inconsistency here. What nonsense. What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well, obviously, that, um, I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Was this the wrong piece? It shows and literally says, Professor shot from the front in the evidence list. <laughs> I think this proves beyond any end out, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in the grand courtroom. This is so frustrating. 
Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. To spell it out, it would be an insult to the court. Kazuma, what? What are you talking about? It's apparent from the single glance of the photographic print presented by the defense that there's a clear discrepancy here with the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant Issei Nosa. Yes, sir. What, sir? The statement you just made was this. The black uniform varsity cadet fired on the Englishman civilian, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. I witnessed the crime with my own military-grade eyes, yes. sir. But no, that just can't be. And why not, cadet? Because. 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 <laughs> Take a closer look at the print. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Ah. Uh. Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh. Well. Mm -hmm. What the... <laughs> What was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he placed it down again. Certainly there is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Yes, sir. At this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. Until the moment I heard the firearm discharge, my eyes were... Firmly faced on the delicious carnival steak, sir. What? The last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Issei Nosa, did not see the defendant firing the gun at all. Uh, that's, that's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. <laughs> Just gonna throw that back in his face. Nice. <laughs> Very well, the court invites the witnesses to testify again. You will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegations. Is that clear? As clear as Kiriko Glass, Your Excellency. Yes, sir, at once, sir. A waiting signal to testify, sir. Oh, glad I'm not- glad it's not doing nose bubbles during testimony. At least the second of it. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. It's not almost the same thing. <laughs> Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was that young man, and in black. That much I did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out. So, back to cross-examination yes. where I go through it ten times. Wait, that's, that's nonsense. The victor, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of this outburst already. But there was a woman, a young woman at his table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We're not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Oh, of course you have the fucking table. 
<sighs> Is this photographic print in the scene of the crime? Indeed, of the table at which the victim was dining, taken by the instigators immediately after the incident. That doesn't look right. That doesn't match the other table. How does that make sense? I guess his body's gone. As you can plainly see, there's only one place set. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print. It would be reasonable to conclude the victim was not in the company of anyone else. This doesn't make any sense. The court will add new photographic evidence to the court. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witness, but make it quick, understood? Rules can be so unbending at times. Ugh. For no more, a visual search of the prince at the crime, I'm confirmed with their only personal yes! present. You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. As you have been at pains to point out again, I feel I'm growing a callous in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. <laughs> Only there'd be more people dining there at the time than someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know, of course the place was almost empty. It's what you'd expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of time to eat. I wonder if there was any reason... There was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day and why he was alone. Yes, Erickson, there was indeed a reason. There was? This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, counsel? It is a m medical report card, sir. It was seen the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Oh, it's a clinic. Yes, there would indeed here to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon to past 1 p.m. The very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before it really has no bearing on the case. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Failure to submit evidence. Just because you deem it to be have no bearing. Sure. I wonder, what do you think, Ryanosuke? Well, it is hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered in the court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Yes. Yes. If I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Not to mention the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are of no concern. Whether or not they are concerned is up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse perfectly valid requests for submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant the defense request. Youngsters these days are forever exerting their rights. It's the most disturbing trend. Ugh. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report to the court record. Found on the victim's body. What we need right now is new clues. We have to explore the things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. You can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you'd like, but it's 
the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you'd forgotten that these witnesses' testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate your s for the accused, Kori Kuda-san. Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. And there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so. Just before the incident, he had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's most modern practice in the West for pain. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you from feeling pain. There's a cautionary note for the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post-procedure until anesthetic effects have passed. He wasn't allowed to eat. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. Has been updated in the reports. With this new information... The meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. Indeed, Alone was the Englishman dining alone by all himself. He was not allowed to be dining! Yes! Oh, good. We're not going to have a long poll. Well, I think, um... What are you withering, lad? Call yourself a lawyer? Not really. I wish I could, but first and foremost here, I'm the accused. Ryanosuke. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kasuma. Kori Kudasan. This is the medical report belonging to the victim. Ah, I see. And I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on the report card with your witness statement. Something clearly doesn't add up. Dear me, dear me. Have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry? What? You are not to interrupt a court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. But... Let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon where the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. But that's, um... Remember, Reynosuke, you don't have to use the clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. This is surely no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. The witness testimonies the court would have heard have been clear and concise. This medical report has no bearing on the matter at all, for simple reason that there is no one else besides the pale-faced pupil who could have... This medical report card has nothing to do with the case. Do you really believe that? What? That outburst half petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could I possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hoda Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted. What's this now? And furthermore, if I told you that as a result the victim had been forbidden from eating, Just, just what are you trying to say, cadet? He had orders not to eat, so what? It was written up in here. No food or drink after, other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that, that can't. Kori san What, boy, what? As you just heard... When he was killed, sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, there's more. 
You have assured the court that, with unwavering self-confidence, that the victim was dining alone. But that can't possibly be the case. Because the victim, as we know, just had one of his teeth extraction, which would still experience the side effects of the anesthetic. Expertly done, partner. I believe he has the power of the airbenders. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> what? What is this nonsense? You little upstart. These are baseless accusations. Just look at this photographic evidence. You can clearly see the plate of the food at the oh, victim's gotcha. table. Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Or can't you follow the logic? How, how dare you? I think it's fair to say the tables in this restaurant's case have turned. Wouldn't you agree, Ryunosuke? Yes, most definitely. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one crucial, very crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the pictured beef steak? The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, that's that means me, doesn't it? All right. The answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of you turning this trial around. So I show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um, uh, <laughs> The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been... Can't be the victim myself. I keep talking about the fucking woman, but no one fucking believes me and I don't think... That's gonna be the case either. I'm gonna say the third party. Obviously, it could only have been the someone who was at, sitting at the table as a professor. You will not let this go, will you? There is no such person! There was because I saw her! When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half eaten steak at his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is there was somebody else sitting there eating it. We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that the witness' testimonies are unreliable. If this court decides to put this ruling through at this stage, we will be launching a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Kazuma? Are you insane? <laughs> You would take on the government. <laughs> Don't worry, counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them. Those w two witnesses in the stand. What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it is now turns out that you two were deliberately lied when giving your testimonies... Obviously, you will be charged with perjury. Perjury. And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Complicit in murder? <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> Hold it. Negative. There was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. W tactical meeting? <laughs> I was just following orders. That's right, as the man says. Just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what we were, uh, 
they are told us. Oh. What? What did you just say, Kurikuta? Oh, um, no. You were just following orders? Now hold it, lad. I was, um... Say you never saw the gentlewoman. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with the lady from overseas. What? Attention! What? What is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, you pair? Just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue. <laughs> It's a little bit more than a simple slip. Order, order. Council, explain what is going on here. It is painfully clear now you tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, um... That's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as co uh, conspirators to this murder, are you? You you wouldn't. This can't be happening. <laughs> Ryanosuke? Judging from the way they're reacting to this, I say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Akuchi has any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean to wield this kind of influence. There's only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or the police, I suppose. Well, any idea about who might be behind this? If we can affirm a food to try to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouth shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it was really did his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? Before? We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found the clue as a result. Oh yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything to make sure there's nothing we missed. There's no time to lose. The fucking business card. If it's witnesses that the if it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe. Please wait, Your Excellency. I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god, I knew nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all this? Hmm? Hmm. Well, Your Excellency? Ah, uh, no time to think. I'm just gonna have to close my eyes and shut out the first thing that comes to my head. Chief Inspector, huh? Uh huh. Well, that's unexpected. What is? Look, do you see the witness's name here? Satoru Hosanaga. Well, yes, business cards do tend to show people's names. That's sort of the point. <laughs> it's not the name that's unexpected. It's his job title. <laughs> his job? Oh. Chief Inspector. Satoru Hosanaga. Premium Criminal Investigation Division. Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector. What on earth? <laughs> I have no idea. But let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence if they're wielding it somehow here. The waiter's business card information has been updated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get out of this. Oh. 
Why is the prosecution the only person with these witnesses? Yes! This dude. Well, surely that would be Satoru Hosanaga-san. Hosanaga-san, the waiter who took the I'm stand dead, earlier? Dead. Poppycock! What possible reason could the waiter have have to make these witnesses give false testimony? I have another question. How could a waiter that's supposed to be a division chief fucking inspector not already be known to the court that they would bring him in and call him a waiter? How about you fucks explain that? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not possibly have the level of influence. For once, I would agree with you. If that is, the man truly were a waiter. What? If he were... Truly were? Come on, Rionosuke. Time to hit the court with the truth. The truth about the... Oh, that sounds real identity. Yes! Prison. The plan and other restaurant sketched by the man in question. Hmm. I agree it shows a great deal of detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything. Sorry, Your Excellency. That's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that's of interest. I I beg your pardon. Or perhaps I should have said the front. Yes, it's the front of the back of the card. That's where the detail, only detail is. Flip the card over. Would somebody please explain what the overexcited student's trying to say? Hosanna <laughs> Agassan sketch the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card reveals that the man in question is profession, his true profession. The waiter's profession, but that surely... Good gracious! <laughs> That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector. Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. What? The waiter? Is a police detective? I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? <laughs> The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power, absolute power as far as regular civilians are concerned. So, witnesses there in the stand... ...was, in fact, the waiter who gave you the orders. Was it he who told you not to mention what you'd seen this foreigner gentlewoman at the scene? Mm, well... Inspector Hosanaga. I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It is my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusual careless mistake. How many other fucking murders have you framed? <laughs> so you mean to say you're really a detective? But why would a detective be working a restaurant? Working as a restaurant waiter? Ah, of course. Your salary must be terrible. I was working undercover. <laughs> we have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting... There was, in fact, another person present at the victim's table. If that is indeed true, clearly you would have been aware of this person's presence, having served the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as police officer, you require these witnesses... You require these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? C 
Correct. You're explosive. Unbelievable! As I suspected. So flashback again? We as soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim's same table was a young lady who might guess to be an English woman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then that I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say, remove the English woman from the scene at once. The English woman sitting at the table at the university professor's table at, was a certain Miss Giselle Brett. She's indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Yuma University Medical Facility. What? What is happening here? <laughs> I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene. And ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimonies. It must be up to your excellence to decide how to deal with this situation. Throw him in jail! I <laughs> do fuck! Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case present at the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false, it would be a discretion of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. But, but, Your Excellency! That would mean missing the noon deadline for the ruling in order to send a telegraphic report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be very displeased by the such actions. Calm yourself, counsel. It will I will not allow the government of our own country or any other influence other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. Ugh. Inspector Hosanaga? Yes, sir. You will locate the Jezza Albert and escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. At once, Your Excellency. But but that means you're going to go against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. Get you. Mm. That's a crock of shit when you already tempered with evidence for a fucking court case. And intimidated witnesses to lie in a court case. Full of shit. <laughs> so it won't be a problem. <coughs> All right, there, sir. Even trusting him to bring in a witness seems questionable. Nothing will get in my way. Also, he's dying. <laughs> Dude is coughing up blood. He's dying. <laughs> Would he even survive the trip? <gasps> Cart will be adjourned briefly. Good God. A break. <laughs> the prosecution must call the English woman's English student Jessile Brett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Your Excellency. Good, then we'll have a 30 minute recess before reconvening. Oh, a break from court. Oh, wonderful. Oh, to be continued? I'm dying here. 